What's up, folks? A lot of controversy in bass fishing these days. All the BPT tour changes, everybody pointing fingers, throwing rocks, etc. Have you seen the latest rock throwing? It gets pretty interesting. Let's talk about it. Do any of you guys watch uh, or follow Ben Milliken, Randy Blockett? I do. Uh, good YouTube channels, both of them. Uh, the other day, uh, Ben posted a pretty good video talking about uh, how corporate intervention in this uh, industry is... Uh, could cause problems, is causing problems. He did a very, very good breakdown um, with pictures and everything of how corporate America can intervene into something like bass fishing. And um, he's not wrong. He's not wrong in anything he put on there. Um, I like Ben. I like his no BS approach. He broke that down. Uh, I would guess he probably has uh, a bit of education in business or uh, something of that nature. Well, on his thumbnail, there's a picture of Randy. And I think even, uh, what was it, Jacob Fouts? I think he's on there. Be what it may. During the... Uh, during Ben's uh, whiteboard drawings he uh he uses several names randy being one of them now i don't know if this shot was directed at randy blockett or not i mean it could have been directed at anybody regardless of that the context made a lot of sense and, he, and like i said he's not wrong he broke it down pretty good is is the way the big guy can have an impact on us little guys and the products that we buy or have the opportunity to buy or the products that we love that where they go if you haven't seen the video go watch it, it breaks down pretty good now I watched that uh, the other morning I went, went off did my thing during the day made some rounds whatnot by that evening Randy has posted a rebuttal Evidently, he took offense to it. I don't know. Now, if you don't follow Randy, you need to follow Randy. Randy's been in fishing. He's uh, he's 10, 12 years older than me. I've probably been watching him since the 80s. And uh, he's been fishing at a competitive level uh, his entire life. Uh, you can't knock that. Evidently, he took offense to that, so he he posted a rebuttal video. And in that video, he throws a rock at somebody else. So you have Ben posts a video with good, you know, good good content. He, like I said, he's not wrong. Explains uh, explains what he's talking about pretty good in layman's terms. I mean, it's down at ground level. You can you can pick it up whether you're smart or not. You get it. And somewhere in there, supposedly throws a rock at Randy. Okay, Randy picks up on it. He throws a rock back, and then he throws a rock at somebody else. I'm not going to mention their name. You watch the video. It's another popular bass fisherman. There may be something that's underlying between those two. I couldn't tell you. Either way, there's no such thing is bad publicity 
You've always heard that, right? Well, the entire YouTube social media platforms, they've taken over. That's part of the controversy that you're hearing with the BPT tour. It's one of them. It's going to be social media platform people that are going to keep this sport uh, afloat, unfortunately. Or fortunately. That's not for me to decide. We're all going to watch it, right? I mean, we're going to, uh, we're going to tune in. I'm going to keep watching Ben. I'm going to keep watching Randy. They both make and bring up good points. Um, ben tells you real quick in the beginning of his video, he's not owned by anybody and he's not held to somebody telling him what he can say and what he can't say. I got a lot of respect for that. I've wore a uniform most of my adult life uh, between military and law enforcement. I, I like a no BS approach. It is what it is. Don't give me no fluff. What is it? Lay it on me. No I hurt my feelings. Uh, Randy actually has a pretty good no BS approach. Now, while Ben's video is talking about how corporate intervention into the uh, industry, the entire industry of bass fishing and its impacts, Randy champions um, and uh, preaches pretty good sermons on how technology and its intervention and impact. And he's not wrong. I got forward-facing sonar, live scope, whatever you want to call it. It's on this boat. It came with it. I'm a retired deputy. I don't have a lot of money. I bought this boat. I'm fishing it as is. I didn't add anything to it except some gas. Um, Randy's not wrong. But technology's here. Whether we like it or not, you don't have to agree or disagree. But I'm not going to throw rocks at anybody. There's no reason in it. They both have good points. They're both respectable fishermen. They both got pretty good YouTube channels going on. There's a lot of money to be made in YouTube. Uh, I may catch slack over just making my comments on this. I don't have a lot of followers. I don't get paid to do this. This is something I do to entertain myself in retirement. The question you have to ask yourself is... Are they really throwing rocks at each other? Or are they just fishing for likes? The most important bait in the fishing industry these days is clickbait. Click, 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 click. It's clickbait. TV's gone by the wayside. I don't have TV. I got internet. The only thing I can watch is whatever I can find on the internet, which is YouTube and different kinds of uh, TVs that you, you know, or channels that you can subscribe to or find for free. It's the way the world's going. Love it, leave it, like it, doesn't matter. If you want to watch, you want to participate, you want to make money, that's what you got to do. So, are you going fishing? You going clicking? You going both? I'm about to go fishing because I'm tired of clicking. I suggest you do the same. And I suggest that you sometimes take a lot of this rock throwing and a lot of this uh, controversial, controversy soap opera media stuff with a little grain of salt. I'm not saying don't watch it. Sometimes it may be real. Sometimes it could be a conspiracy to get you to click and watch. For all you know, that's what I've just done to you right now. You watch this video. You listen to me talk about it. I haven't thrown a rock at anybody. I haven't said anything bad. I just voiced my opinion on two YouTube fishermen that seem to have a little tiff going on. Or do they? Doesn't matter. The content was good. Ben was spot on with his uh, video on corporate intervention. Randy made a rebuttal to it, and he's well within his rights to do that. Uh, 
Randy stance on forward facing sonar. Can't blame him. Technology is having an impact on the sport. And uh, it kind of is what it is. This is the part of the video where normally you're going to find a little box up here, a little box up here, clickbait, to take you to another video. Maybe even the subscribe click down here. Click, click, click. But I'm not going to do that on this video. This video is what it is. I'm just an old retired deputy that stumbles into fish every now and then. I hope that uh, if you do watch any of my videos, I hope they help you out. Uh, we can all learn something no matter what our skill level, how long we've been doing it. You pick up things along the way. Be safe on the water. Be courteous. Don't throw rocks at people. And uh, beware of clickbait. We are all victims of it every day.